Hi, I'm Steve with Outdoor Essentials, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to build a spaced picket fence panel like this one. Let's get started. To start, we need to gather our tools and materials. I've got my pickets here, along with two eight-foot treated two-by-fours to use as backer rails and four-by-four four treated posts. We also need tools, a cordless drill, a hammer or air nailer, three and a half inch wood screws for attaching the backer rails to the post, inch and a half ring shank nails or screws for attaching the pickets, a tape measure, a level, a pencil, and a piece of two inch scrap to prop up the pickets while you secure them. A note about fasteners before we get started, some metals don't react well with certain types of wood. Here's a chart to help you choose the right type of fastener for your project. As you can see here, we've already installed our posts. We installed these posts eight feet on center. We installed them this way because we'll be face mounting our backer rails like this. If you're installing between the posts like this, you'll install the posts with eight feet between them. Begin by determining where your backer rails will be installed. For this fence, we recommend nine and a half inches and 35 and a half inches from the ground. Measure and mark that on one post. Have a friend hold the backer rail in place on one side, then level the backer rail and mark the other post. This keeps you from being thrown off by uneven ground. Hold the backer rail in place and fasten it to the post with two screws on each side. Before you start installing your pickets, consider how you'd like to space them. Typically, spacing is three to three and a half inches, but if you have a small pet that could squeeze through that gap, you might consider a tighter spacing. We'll be installing our pickets three and a half inches apart. I built this custom jig out of a two by four to help space my pickets evenly. Install your first picket at least two inches off the ground and drive two nails into each backer rail. Install the first picket carefully, making sure it's plumb. Make sure you use an exceptionally straight piece of wood as your spacer. Check for level and plumb every three to four pickets. Correct if needed. These measurements are for 48 inch pickets. If you have 42 inch pickets, you'll want to adjust your measurements. As you move on to the next fence panel, maintain the spacing you established on this first panel for a nice continuous look. Check out the rest of our videos or subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips.